Hello guys and welcome back again to Tech and Connect. Today I'm going to be installing my water block which is not even made for this motherboard onto my motherboard. Hopefully we, didn't, we don't run into any glitches but yeah, let's do this. Okay, so step number one is going to be to remove all of this here off of the motherboard. So let's flip it around. I'm going to just use this box to balance it out, otherwise I don't want to flex them. Mm, that's a bit tall. Okay. Let's just try this. Okay, so we need to remove this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, but also these three um, because there's a shroud on the front that I have to remove. So. by an RGB ribbon cable so yeah I'm just gonna disconnect that okay shroud's off okay so yeah okay so before we can start installing the water block I firstly need to install my CPU and with this motherboard I'm pairing it with the best gaming CPU on the market at the moment the 8700K so to install a CPU release the latch flip it open take your CPU out of, it, protect, out of, its, out of its protective holder Hold it by the edges, do not try to touch the pins or anything at the bottom on the motherboard. Line up the notches and just gently place it in place. Fold back the, the cover and just push down and this protector cover will automatically pop off. Okay, so I already cut the, the thermal pads. So I'm going to just quickly just take them off and check that the fit is fine on this motherboard. But EK said the fit should be fine. And... Well, maybe if I put it the right way around. That seems like it's going to fit. Seems like it's going to fit 100%. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on the thermal pads and then I'm going to mount, mount the CPU cover block or the motherboard block. To put on the thermal pads, the thick ones on this particular set goes on your rear ends. They are extremely sticky, so they are very difficult to maneuver around. Well, finally, oh my goodness, that took forever. I'm just going to cover all the VRMs. This time I'm removing the blue one first, because it's quite a bit thinner. So I kept the white one on to keep it steady a lot easier to remove. I accidentally cut this one a bit too short so these ones are going to be even more tricky to get the blue stuff off because they are a lot thinner. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay there we go. Looks good. Um, the next step will be to apply the thermal paste onto the CPU and to remove the sticker on here. I'm going to apply some thermal paste about the size of a cooked piece of rice. 
Previously, I know people said uncooked rice, but this die is a tiny bit bigger because of the extra cores, so too much thermal paste is not a bad thing. Okay, there we go, thermal paste on. Now it is to align this and flip the board over. Uh, I might have to move a box in so I can flip it over and place it at the right place. Hold on to it. Bring in the box. Balance it over the side like this so that uh, the ports at the back doesn't interfere with it. And then I'm going to get the screws and the washers. And there we go. Now just the last step is to route the cable neatly, plug it into the RGB header, which is up here. And there we go. And um, now the last step is going to be to reconnect this RGB header on here. Place the shield back on. And then screw it down from the bottom. I should be able to do that. From the side. Just remember to Pack these heat sinks away in a safe place so that you can get them and put them back on if you need to RMA your motherboard one day. Just as a reminder. So I'm gonna just put them back into this box with my CPU case and then all the Allen keys and everything that came with. Okay, next thing guys, I'm going to show you guys how to install an M.2 drive onto your motherboard, uh, especially a motherboard that's got a heatsink with a thermal pad on it. You would want to remove this branding sticker, I know it looks nice, but you'd want to remove that off of your device. So just see if you can easily peel it off. And if it doesn't want to go, have a heat gun handy and just heat it up a tiny bit. So I've got this one set to the lowest setting. Well, there's the lowest setting. And I'm only going to turn it down to speed one. I'm going to constantly try to peel on it uh, to move it clean off of the, off of the chips. Okay, there we go. I know 
there's chips on the back but the motherboard does not provide cooling for that so I'm gonna just take that off I did test this before and I did load windows on here so I know that it does work so always test your parts before you like take off the branding stickers if it breaks now it does me that's basically what I'm telling you Okay, so to install on this motherboard you just need to undo these three screws. Okay, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so firstly you would want to install this tiny hold down screw for your M.2 drive. Uh, first take your M.2 drive, just measure and see where it has to go. So this I know is a 22.8 and my motherboard came with this handy dandy thumb screw that holds standoffs so I'm gonna just insert it in there okay, and then just screw it on Get yeah, that screw down. To install the drive, just hold it at a 45 to 30 degree angle, squeeze it in a tiny bit, and then squeeze it down. You'll see it little lines at the bottom. Take this tiny little screw that they give oh, that comes with the motherboard and just screw it down. My motherboard comes with active cooling with a heat pad at the back there so the next step will just be to peel off the heat pad and then installing back this cover plate well heat spreader if you want and then inserting back these long ass <laughs> installed and just as a treat there you go installed okay so my motherboard is now ready to be installed. Um, yeah, I'm quickly just going to test everything that everything's still going strong. You can turn on the motherboard with just this on. It will keep it cool enough for about, two, I'd say, up to 20 minutes. But keep a look at the temperatures. But yeah, I'm just going to test everything, make sure everything boots up again. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, all these parts will be listed in the annotation below where you can find them, where you can buy them. Thanks for watching, please comment, subscribe and like this video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, yeah and let's have a discussion down, down in the comment section.